I'm Marty Fields and we're here at the 21st Century Financial Education Summit here at High Sense Arena in beautiful Melbourne. Two days of experts in the field of finance and wealth creation talking to people who are really, really keen to make the most of their own potential. I'm sure we've all come here for different reasons, but I've always been an achiever and I get excited about these events. Uh, if you're interested in foreign exchange, or if you're interested in the, uh, sh share trading, th there's a talk on everything. I am interested in setting up a wealth creation plan for the next 10 years. I've retired, I need to get an income. I'm sure I can learn from the people who have made it. We want to be entrepreneurs, basically. We want to get out of the rat race, so to speak. Well, in uni, we're all working. We all think that nine to five jobs are the answer when realistically they're not. And so we want to kind of get outside that bracket and move forward as an entrepreneur. And that's a, it's a hard thing to comprehend without actually hearing people that are up on stage that are kind of like mentors. And this is where it all happens, inside the High Sense Arena, speaker after speaker, telling people how to make the most of their potential. You're going to be the world's greatest. But you got to believe you got to believe in the power that's in you, because it's in there. It's just a matter of believing and then getting it out. Well, I played professional basketball for 16 years, and the one thing that I, that I learned from playing professional basketball uh, was that uh, in order to be successful, you had to have discipline, you had to have vision, you had to have uh, a lot of pride in yourself. What brought me here was uh, like-minded entrepreneurs. Life is too short. You are meant to play big. You are not meant to play small. You have a purpose while you're here. It doesn't matter um, how much money you have. It doesn't matter your education. It is absolutely possible for you to be a business owner and a self-sufficient and have multiple sources of income. I'm a, I like to think I'm an example of that. Mm. I mean, really coming from where I came from and to be able to have a handful of companies and a couple TV shows that, you know, have taken people out of Skid Row in Los Angeles and, and brought them to um, close to millionaire status in four months says a lot. I focus on mindset, really shifting people's paradigms and helping them to get associated with what they love to do and then how they can build a business doing what they love. See, what I want to help you do is I want to help you turn that hobby. I want to help you turn that passion into a wealth generating vehicle for yourself. I'm originally from the United States and I spent a lot of years doing things that I didn't love and not making money and I figured out that I wanted to do what I loved and I wanted to make money. I'm going to show you how big developers in Melbourne are making an absolute killing in property right now by adding value to land. Eventually, after years of investing, I had the option of, of actually not working and having a choice of not to work. And that was a, I remember that day when I walked into my manager's office and I told him I can no longer afford to actually work here. So he was in shock. Obviously, I didn't need a reference letter from, you know, from that bank. I'm here with the beautiful Toddy Goldsmith. He's just come off from drawing an amazing prize. Really nice picture. I drew a really nice picture. Yeah. The was... sun and a little house and some trees. It was a boat. She drew a boat. <laughs> I drew a 60-foot yacht cruise on Jamie McIntyre's boat for 20 people with a skipper. Thank God someone's going to yeah, drive. Yeah. A waiters, food and beverage. So if your birthday is on the 5th of February, this is yours. <laughs> Make some noise, 5th of February. OK, ladies and gentlemen, I want to bring to the stage the person responsible for all of us being here. He's the CEO, he's the founder, he's the main man, he is the architect. Give it up. Jamie McIntyre is coming to the stage. Put your hands together for him, make some noise. We've managed to grab Jamie, the driving force behind this entire event, in the 30 seconds downtime that he's had all day. Jamie, how's it going? The event uh, holds 8,500 and we uh, we just oversold that slightly, so um, uh, it's been it's been great. We can't fit any more people in. The ones that are fulfilled and happy don't go for significance. Do what Mother Teresa did. If you want to become significant, become significant by making a difference in the world. Uh, I've been great speakers. We had Tim Ferriss up earlier today. I've had zero fatalities in four years of startup investing and I've had at this point more than a 20x return on my uh, my cost basis and that comes from doing the type of analysis we just talked about. Once you have control of your most valuable non-renewable resource, i.e. time, you can lose money and make it back. Time, not the case, not yet. Not only is the main room going, but there's of course two other breakout rooms, the East Wing and the West Wing. The speakers here aren't any less interesting, informative or worthwhile 
They're just in smaller rooms, more intimate audiences and perhaps more focused subjects. I always love working with the 21st Century Group because it's a big family and we all get to uh, create wonderful lifestyles and, uh, and learn a hell of a lot. In the house, boy! In the house! Rock the house, let's rock the house. We doing it, we doing it, just how we do it, 21st century. Give me time, it will bring me to life. The world can't stop me now, this is amazing. Hi, I'm here at 21st Century. I was at the Financial Summit this weekend. It was fantastic, very inspiring. Um, I saw Sir Richard Branson, who was absolutely amazing, as to be expected. And then I had a good dance to Havana Brown, so it's been a really great weekend. Amazing. You, I learnt so much about business, about investing and trading. I'm really, I'm really excited to get started. What do you think about the conference? If you don't come and listen to what these people have to say, I don't think you will be able to live. It's a big call. The whole thing was inspiring and done. Mm. Walk away from here going really inspired to just... Take action. Take action, yeah. It's invaluable for any business, any consultant. Um, the information itself is, you know, if you're not here, you're missing out. Rory, what do you think about uh, Tim Ferriss? Richard Branson? What field of business are you in, Rory? came along to watch Jamie McIntyre, Tim Ferriss. It's just been an amazing day full of a lot of information. I had a great time today and I would recommend it to anyone. Excellent.